Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Derail Valley. Yeah, I know, we haven't played this in a while. Don't forget if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I hadn't played it in a long time, or at least I hadn't recorded in a long time, because we were waiting for the um, simulator update to come out. But it keeps getting pushed back and keeps getting pushed back. Now they're saying sometime in the next five months or so. Two to five months from when they put out their announcement. I guess last month. Um, so, you know, it sounds like they're really doing good. I've seen some screenshots uh, from it. They've added some great stuff. They've added a day-night cycle and uh, weather and new locomotives and redone everything to make um, modding easier. So hopefully we'll see some really good stuff. Uh, today what I would like to do is I want to go to one of these places we've never gone to before. That would be the Forest South, the Sawmill, the Iron Ore uh, Mine West, the Military Base, the Iron Ore Mine East, or the Coal Mine. Those are the places we haven't been. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, that's Food Factory. Steel Mill. Goods Factory. Oh, you know what? Well, let's look these over before I go. Uh, the, the military ones will be in the military base. Oh, it's a shunting job. I want that. That's a pretty big one there. It's a little one. It's another big one. Holy moly, that's a long train. That's decent money. Another long one. That's some good long ones. That's a little bitty one. And another super long one, hauling... Looks like iron, oh, scrap metal. I, I, I'll scrap metal up there. Not the best money for that, though. All right, let's go over to the military place. Uh, if I can remember how to teleport here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Is this the military base? Am I in the right spot? I don't think I am. I think the military base is over here. Yeah, this is it. So they've got their own little station office right here. Alright, let's see what we've got here. This is going up to the military base, but it's a pretty tiny load. Also going to the military base. Also going to the military base. Let's see, 70, oh no, that's meters, 300 and something tons. Do I not have hazmat three? I don't think I do. Uh, and there's no license thing here, so I can't tell. Military two, we got that. Hazmat three, oh, darn it, the, 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 two of them need hazmat three. Um, let's go back over here. Okay. Uh, let's check our fees first. No fees. Okay, good. Thought I had all my fees caught up. All right. As you can see, I've been getting, yeah, we don't have Hazmat 3. It's 290000 for Hazmat 3. How much money do I have? Where is my wallet? There it is. We've got enough, just barely. Let's do it. Okay, 
now we've got hazmat 3. Now we can go ahead and hook up and take all of those. Oh, hang on to here. So how do we want to go up there? So going out this direction and all the way up is probably the best bet. Yeah. We'll go out that direction. Okay, let's get ourselves... Um, I wonder if one locomotive is going to be enough. Let's take two. Just to be safe. Come on. Slowly we grind up there. Come on. Okay. Let's see if I can get this open. It's so hard to open this thing these things. There we go. Oh, no wait a minute. Okay, we're started. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to do this now. Release all our brakes. No, I think that was engaging brakes. Um... Yeah, I know I could use the powered on this, but it really <laughs> doesn't seem like it takes any less time to do it manually. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I need to back this up. Let's get our remote out. Okay. I need to turn this all the way around. Okay, so... Well, I overshot that. <laughs> okay. Where is the... There it is over here. Put that away. There we go. And let's see. Reverse this.
Just gonna get off here. Okay. One more. Okay. Come on. Oh, God. This is such a pain in the rear. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be up in the mountains and stuff, so I'm thinking we're going to definitely need two locomotives here. Did it, just, it was just me or did it seem like the, the engine shimmied to one side when I did that? Oh, no, let's go over here. That's on the shed roof. We need to turn this all the way around. Okay, paired with this logo now. Brake line, there we go. Connect that. We're gonna grab. Come on. Let me grab that. There we go. And open the brakes up. And let's actually go on out this way. Okay, so we've got our two vehicles. And that we're going to want to go left. There we go. Down into the military base. And then as soon as we get down there, we can go ahead and grab our uh, jobs. Let's see. Ammunition, 153 tons. Nuclear fuel, holy cow. All right, let's see how we do here. Okay. Okay. 
denied. Military. Oh, I don't have military three. Well, we don't. We won't do the sprint nuclear fuel, I guess. Okay. So we want this one. It's at B eighty. Oh, here's the other one, and this is at B fifty. Or B eight O and B five O. Where is the harbor? Harbor, okay, we're at it. Okay, military base. 5-0 will be straight, left, left, right. Straight, left, left, right. My 8-0 I'm going to want right there. Five oh, right here. And 8-0... Is that the last one on that side? No, it's the closer one on that side. slowed it down a little too much. Alright. Let's double check these. This is the 801. This is the 50. We need CXF 549 to CXF 527. Oh, trucks. Cool. Okay, this is it. I didn't have to check both ends, but I like to, just to make sure they don't have something hooked together that they're not supposed to. Okay, I'll jump on up here. Hop off here. So this is 8 0 right here. And there's our load way down there. There we go. Yep, 8 0. Okay. I am so going to have to edit this down in order to make everything fit. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, train brake. Switch that to the side. And there we go. I like the fact that we're hauling trucks. That's pretty cool. I mean, usually I'm hauling tanks or or, or, or stuff like that. It's new and different to be hauling uh, uh, trucks. I don't think this is... I can't remember if I've ever hauled a military one before. I know I've looked at them before. What is this one? What are we hauling? Ammunition. Okay, so we're hauling trucks and ammunition. There's tanks. That one over there with those gray boxes must be the nuclear fuel. Come on. We're definitely not going to get time bonus on this, that's for sure. I need to try to find the... Uh, um, caboose. Uh, hello? That's not what you were supposed to do. There. There we go. Well, let's double check this. Uh, CXB 785 to 972. Okay. And it's just these three, so we're good. All right. Now we're all set to go. Reverser forward. Let's come on. Turn on our lights. Turn on that, whatever that is. Brake pressure is good. Let's go. Thirty-two should be fine. Let's take a look here at this map again. All right, so we're going to go out through. I think that's E. Head north along there. Make that turn. Go over the goods factory in town. Right there. Left there. Left there. Left there. And that should take us right into the military base. Well, it's too bad we couldn't have taken that nuclear fuel, too. I don't know how much this is going to make us, but we've got our max hazmat. The next, the only, the only license left that I don't have, I think, is the. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, right there. The only license left that I don't have, I think, is the military three. I guess will allow us to haul nuclear fuel. I wonder where that caboose is. I've intentionally not tried to find any of that stuff. Okay, next switch stays left. Looks like the one after it is left too. Can't quite see what's going on up there. Just have to wait till we get up to it, I guess. A 
was watching somebody else play this a while back, and uh, they hadn't haven't gotten the hang of coasting. <laughs> That's something they explain early in the tutorial: is to get up to speed and then coast as much as you can to save fuel. Also helps cool your engine down. Okay, that needs to go left. And that should be good. That'll keep us on the pass-through track down, right down the center. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I didn't uh, uh, blow the horn in time for the level crossing. Wrong direction. <laughs> I'm just using the hotkeys for most of this. Because, face it, if, if we were really doing this, I would be... Uh, I would be using my hands and not really watching the uh, controls. So it seems only appropriate. Okay, this should automatically send us the right way. That one we'll have to pay attention to. And that one we'll have to pay attention to. That one, yeah, the rest of them we'll have to pay attention to all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Okay, speed limit's 50. Let's get going. It's going to be going uphill, so let's get up and look around a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, slow down a little bit. See, I've only think I've only taken this route once, <laughs> and that was to go to. Uh, is this level enough for me to? Oh, well, I can speed up more. I've only, I think I've only taken this route once, and that was to go up to one of the cities up there. So I've never gone this particular route that we're going to be going. looks good. Oh, that's our speed right there. Yep, 70. Let's not redline it. Maybe with just these two I could have done it with one locomotive, but going up this mountain I just feel like it's not a good idea. Um, <laughs> I just teleported out of the cab by accident. <laughs> oh, we're really slowing down a lot here. Speed limit 60, which we are coming up on. So far, so good. I'm not sure. I remember this being an uphill slope. I think it is, but maybe it's not as steep as I remember it being.
Alright, we're doing good. We've gotten quite a ways on our route here. Now, if we can just hold the speed, about 65 or so, no, we're losing it again. Come on. Next notch up. There we go. A lot of tunnels in this, on this route. Looks like we're going to cross over the river at some point up here. Come on, get down there, speed. No, I don't remember which it was. Was it 50 or 60? <laughs> Let's get down to 50 just to be safe. Oh, now it's back up to 70, of course. Pretty view. We should be coming up on a bridge soon. Wish the speed limits wouldn't change so constantly. Yeah, this is one of those games, along with the two truck simulator games, that are nice that it's just sort of relaxing. <laughs> I mean, in this one, you do have the danger of derailing or getting stuck somewhere or something like that. And in truck simulator, you've got speed limits and wrecks and things like that to worry about. But they're still pretty chill games where you're just driving a big piece of machinery around. Here's our bridge. Turn this off here. Okay, we should be coming up on our curve here. And I don't mind slowing down a bit just to make sure I make the curve okay. Thought that was uh was giant turtles from Ark for a moment there. <laughs> Alright, that bridge right there, that should be where our switch is. That must be it right there. Yeah, looks like the other direction can only come here. Oops. There we go. And the switch is already set for us. Okay. Super. Okay, we're doing under 60, so we're good. Uh, next one is going to be uh, after we pass the goods factory. All right, and that'll be turning right as well. Yeah, I was... I thought it was pretty cool when I got to the point where I could run two of these locomotives. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much money we'll make on this by me using two locomotives. I may be costing myself more money than I actually needed to. We certainly haven't had any trouble pulling anything up this hill. I think the last time I came up this hill, I came up the hill with a uh, shunter. So, understandable that it didn't go so well. <laughs> Okay, 
Speed limit 70. We can afford to put on some speed now. And it's going downhill. So we're definitely going to want to keep an eye on our speed. I hope when the next update comes out, the dynamic brakes work. <laughs> Oops. Uh, now it says 50. for a while here. Fuel looks good. Oil looks good. Engine temperature looks good. DC amp zero, which it always shows as zero. I don't know why. Go out and enjoy our view some. Just me, or are we speeding up? Eight, we can look at our remote and see our speed and stuff right here. Lake down there. Okay, we're coming up on the goods factory. We're just going to pass over it. We're not going to come anywhere cl close to it. It's really noisy out here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right over there, you can see the chimney. See it right there? That's the goods factory. You can really see where this track goes. It goes all the way along here, crosses there, crosses the whole valley, and then heads up that direction. Speed limit 80. I do love this remote. It's so handy. I think we'll stick with just 60 passing over this. Last time I played, not when I recorded, but last time I actually played, I managed to derail a train right up there, but thankfully I didn't derail it badly. <laughs> There's actually, I was a bit surprised, but there's a bad section of track uh, along the, the back side of uh, the town there. Alright. Let's go back inside where I'm not being deafened by the engine. Uh, yeah, I, I was just thinking, um, yesterday I think it was, let's cut the power again, <clears throat> I was just thinking yesterday that what I really need to do with Transport Fever before too long is just have an episode that's just riding our routes around. I haven't done that in, uh, I don't know, quite a long time. <coughs> I don't know when the last series was that I actually did that. Forty. <coughs> Gonna be coming up on it soon. Why are our our trucks waggling like that. I don't like the look of that. 
It should be just going smooth. Yeah, like there are now. So we're going to want to drop off the ammunition first. We'll back in, drop it off, if I can back in. Um, but drop it off and then pull out with the uh, rest of the stuff. And then drop uh, the trucks off. Okay, 30 mile an hour on this. Try to get a look at our switch here. Don't see it yet. Okay, slowly accelerating with this. I said 30, right? Maybe I should jiggle your elbow and make you wreck it. No! <laughs> we just spent all our money so we could take both of these. The last thing I need is to, uh, uh, screw something up when I have no cash to uh, cover uh, expenses with. Okay. Right. Okay, looks like it's 50 on the right there. Now let's see. After this, we're going to go left, left, and left. And these should be fairly close together now. Yeah, struggling along with the shunter in the early game. <laughs> it makes it so nice when you finally get to this big, big boy and, uh, can actually move at a decent clip. So they've reworked the locomotives for the next for the next update. Um, I think there's four steam loco or four diesel locomotives and one steam locomotive or four diesel and two steam. Sorry, this two steam they said they didn't have done yet, but the uh, uh, diesels they do. But I don't know if the interiors are going to look different. I wish I'd make them look a little bit cleaner. I mean, the old and rusted thing is sort of cool, but it'd be nice if, you know, at some point we get a diesel, you know, get a locomotive that actually looks new. Temperature is good. Fuel is good. Should be coming up on this real soon. Wish I could see a little better. Uh, nope, we went left. There we go. Speed 90 and we're going downhill. <laughs> Whoa, that is a long way down there. Okay. 
okay. So I'm really curious to see what this military base is going to look like. We'll have to look around and see if we can find anything interesting up here too. Like a caboose. I'm going to let it coast from here now. Okay, let's get our remote out. It's already on left, so we're good. Ooh, that's cool. What is that? That is... The Iron Mine East. There's a little shunter sitting on the track over there. See him all by his lonesome? Wouldn't mind going over there and hauling something from there, too. Probably be hauled down to the steel mill. Which wouldn't be a bad trip from here. Get a pretty good straight route. I did not see that speed limit sign. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Just gonna coast for right now. Got a long curve to the left, then it's almost straight. Step outside here. Speed limit 40 in the Y up ahead. be almost there. And this is another one where we want to go left. Put a little bit of brakes on. Come on. There we go. All right, that should be our last switch. Let's go ahead and get this out and go outside. Now, this should just dead end up here in this uh, station. Frostpunk has an event starting. Well, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Get us up to 50 and then coast again. Well, this looks like it. Stop, 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 stop. That's the turn, uh, the, that's the uh, uh, turntable there. Okay, we want to get rid of the ammunition first. This is going to B41. Let's see, military base. <laughs> okay. 
So we're going to come in. We're going. It goes through B. There's a loading dock and storage. And what did I say we wanted? For a four I for incoming. I don't see a four I. What? B4I. I got B4O. Oh, I went to the wrong map. B4I is straight down the middle. Okay, where's this other one going then? Oh, they're both going to 4I. Works for me. Okay. Brakes off. There it in the middle. Oh, what's that down there? They got a helicopter pad right here. know we're here. Looks like the first track over there might be clear so I can get back out of here after dropping these off. We shall see. Uh, I'd swear I have that in Farming Simulator 2019. <laughs> That same model. Bet you it's a standard model. I am really curious what all... I swear I just heard a dog bark. <laughs> You're losing it. It's entirely possible, Growler. It's entirely possible. Alright, let's hop off right here. I think we can go ahead... And stop this. And my sound can go out. <laughs> well, it didn't entirely go out, just the engine sound. And now it's back. <laughs> That's very, very strange. Okay, let's... Um Let's just go up here and have a look, see. Oh, wow. Oh, here's the loading and storage area here. A2S. A door right at the end and some suspicious looking drums. We got the loading dock. Can I use the stairs? I can. Ooh, look at this. Oh, office up here that I bet I can't get into. Nope. Well, that's cool. This is a very cool place. We got a forklift here. Some cable. Some more doors. Some very heavy doors. Don't know what that goes to. Another set of heavy doors. Yeah, this is too cool. <laughs> I like this. Oh, what's this? Unloader. Oh, I guess that's we come in and unload unload our uh, stuff if we were... Which probably will be a shunting mission as soon as I drop this all off. Let's head back out. And here's our station house right here. Okay, completed it. Oh, we got the bonus. Nice. I 
And we got the bonus on this one, too. Holy moly. So we made... Let's see. 30474 on that one. 38000 So great. We just made $69,000 on this one run. Well, that was definitely worth it. That was definitely worth it indeed. There is no place to do maintenance on your train here, though. <laughs> All right. I think what I'm going to do is hop in here and struggle trying to open this cabinet. There we go. through here. There we go. Come on, let me have it. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to leave this thing, my, my little double set up here, alone here for the time being. And, uh, I wonder what these are. And then we'll see what we're going to do. Just take a peek real quick and see what the jobs they have on offer are. Some shunting. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's not shunting. That's logistics. Here's some shunting. That's our trucks. So that's unloading the trucks. Another logistical haul. That's our ammunition getting unloaded. Maybe we'll do that next time. And this is Hazmat 3 and Military 3, so we can't do that. Same thing, Hazmat 3, Military 3. Same thing, Hazmat 3, Military 3. <laughs> and another logistical haul. So, we've got two shunting jobs delivering the stuff we've already got. Maybe I will do that the next time I'm on here. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.